Good morning, parents and students. I wanted to show you how to get into Google Classroom. So there are two ways. You can go into your portal, which is portal.egusd.net. When you get into the portal, uh, it might ask you for your username and password. Um, and then you're going to click, it, which is your 997 number. Then you're gonna click on Google Classroom. And as you can see, it defaults and takes me to mine. Now, if you are at home, this might default to your account, your personal account, which is why students are having a hard time getting in. So you need to change this. So I would click the circle. And if you're like my daughter's account is here, but if it's not, you're going to go to manage account. You're going to manage accounts on device. Then you would click add account and you would do your 997 number. I'm gonna make one up, 990-990-90. Key is you also need to add at egusd.net. Then you would click next. There's no student in Elk Grove Unified that has that number. But when you click next, you would put your password and that's the password that the students should know because it is the password that they use to get in um, to the Chromebooks at school. So once you've done that, then you can toggle in between. So here I am. I go to Google Classroom. I can now toggle. So I'm in mine. So I want to go to my daughter's. So I'm going to switch to Madison. There are two ways that teachers might have given you the Google Classroom. They might have given you a code. They give you a code. You click this uh, plus button. Type in the code here. It is case sensitive. So if they give you an uppercase or a lowercase, make sure that you put it in exactly as it is. And then you would click join. Um, the second way they might have uh, asked you to join is, for example, I asked my daughter to join my fourth grade classroom. And so note it, said it has a blue button here for join. So I would click this and it would now allow me to join. Um, so those are two ways to get into Google or two ways to join Google Classroom. If you don't want to go through the portal, you can simply type in classroom.google.com and it will show up. But again, notice it always defaults to me. So if Madison wants to use this computer or if you have multiple children using the same Chromebook, you're going to want to click the circle and change. All right. I hope that was helpful. Again, the number one reason why people are having a hard time getting in is because um, they're not logged in with their egusd.net email. All right. I hope that that is helpful. Thank you, everyone, and stay safe.